everyone, and welcome back to Anxiety the Game. Yeah, I'm kidding. Kind of. <laughs> We're about to enter the most difficult part of the game thus far. Um, I'm still a little bit salty about what happened back there. Uh, I was not expecting that. But, um, yeah, we've got four babies. We're going to continue on and try and at least get these four safely to the end of this. Um, I think we got four on my first playthrough, so we at least have the chance to still uh, make it through with, with most and to still at least kind of um, meet the expectations we may have set up in my first playthrough. But uh, nevertheless, this is the part where things get truly terrifying. And uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, buckle up. It's going to be one heck of a ride. So we'll keep moving. So far, so good. This is the nice part. Things will start to get worse, but, uh, yeah, oh, yep, and you can see they're getting worse ahead of us. Why do we have to travel through a fire? Because why not? What could possibly go wrong? Let's go ahead and, okay, I don't think anybody was really super hungry, so it kind of doesn't really matter. Oh boy, guys. Already, we're jumping right back into the midst of the chaos, and let's go, oh boy. There's... Oh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, that just lit all on fire. I'm gonna grab one, and we're not sticking around for the others. We are, we're, we're leaving, we're leaving here. You can, no, come on, come on. Guys, stop. Are you, yeah, okay, come on. Leave, leave it. Leave it alone, there we go. All right, let's go. We're gonna keep walking. We're just gonna keep moving. We're not stopping now. We've got to go. Oh my goodness, I do not like this at all. This is the part where I, oh! Okay, this is the part where I get really, really, really anxious. Okay, um, I don't really wanna stop for this food, but you guys are insisting we do. So here, eat. Do not run into the fire, please. Oh my goodness. All right, let's just keep it moving. Oh, no, I still have it. Never mind. No, no, no. Just eat the dang carrot and hurry. There is literally fire right next to us. We don't have time for this. We've got to move. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, we're going to keep going. Um, we just have to avoid those patches, I think. The, um, the grass because it catches fire. Oh, and there's more grass right there. What do you think is going to happen to it? It's going to catch on fire. All right, I guess we'll stop for this because you guys are insisting that you need food right now. Isn't that just what always happens whenever there's like a road trip or something? Somebody always has to go to the bathroom or get food at the worst possible time. Like you're in the middle of the interstate and somebody suddenly, that not it wasn't when we had a rest stop, but all, out of the blue, all of a sudden, um, of course, that's when it happens. Not when it's convenient. But uh, always when it's uh, <laughs> always when it's um, always when it's going to be the most inconvenient time possible, and uh, of course that is the case even here. Except we're not people; we're badgers, and everything is literally on fire. Get out of the bushes! Get out of the bushes! Oh my goodness! No, I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to go through here. Come on, you guys! It's going to catch fire. We need to book it. Oh my goodness! We need to go. We need to go. Is this where bad things start to happen? I think this is where bad things start to happen. Oh, this is where bad things start to happen. Okay. Oh, mercy why. All right. So the eagle's right there. It's so far, too. That's the really scary part. This is... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're all right. Do not hesitate. Do not hesitate. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. He's gonna go that way. Go! Go, 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 go. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we made it. We made it. We made it. Where are we going? Where are we going? I don't know where we're going. All right, we've got to go, I think, this way. I think we got to go this way. The fire's mostly over there. All right, run, 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 run. Okay, where is the way out? The way out is right there. Okay. Run, 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 run. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, that was close. Okay. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And go for it. Oh, no. No! No! Oh, are you kidding me? This is exactly what happened last time. Oh! <laughs> oh, I should have waited just a moment longer. I didn't want to get caught by the fire. 
All right. Oh, and the eagle's back? I thought they were supposed to leave. I thought he was supposed to leave once it had already grabbed the baby. All right. Go, 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 go. He's turning around. He's turning around. We still got a chance, though. Come on, you guys. Do not take a second baby. Are you kidding me? All right. Come on. We got to move it. Oh, no. That area is blocked. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is not what I wanted to deal with right now. Oh my goodness, no, 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 no. Okay, we made it. <laughs> we made it, we made it, we're all right. We're all right, through here. The eagle is literally over our heads. How did you see us? You can't, you're not supposed to be able to see us. Where are we even going? We've gotta go, not this way, that way. There's the way out, okay, I see it. Stay close, come on. Okay, we gotta let him go by. This is gonna catch on fire soon. Okay, run for it, run for it, run for it, run for it. Go, 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 go. No, no, no. Okay, they made it, they made it, okay. What? Okay, no, we made it, we made it, we made it. We're safe. Okay, let's keep going. Do we have to hide from the eagle here, too? Into the bushes, guys, into the bushes. Alright, there's food. We're not stopping for the food right now. We're not stopping for much of anything at all. Oh my goodness. I don't like this, you guys. I don't like this, you guys. All right, there's gotta be a way out. I think that tunnel is our way out. Okay, we gotta go. Hurry, 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 hurry. Into the tunnel, into the tunnel. I'm not messing around. Get into the tunnel here. We've got to hide. Okay, I will not. One, two, three, okay. Well, that's everyone we have left. So let's move it. We're not going to slow down. We're not going to stop. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's... There's the river. Okay, I think we're finally leaving the fire behind, and I think we're starting to be a little bit safer. You guys are looking a bit hungry. Are we gonna have to cross the river again? I'm not sure. Okay, we're grabbing this, and we're backing away from there. Come here. Get out of the, get out of the, the grass. That's what catches on fire. Okay, there must be a way across here, or are we gonna have to go back into the fire again? Oh, I think it- I think it gave us the chance and then pulled us away. It gave us a safe haven, and then- then it- it took us away. Okay, we got- we got- uh, we got food at least. By the way, I looked it up, and, um, I'm not sure what badgers are considered, whether they're considered omnivores or carnivores, but they can eat both. They're not obligate carnivores. They can eat, uh, roots and things as well, and I think that they can, could be considered omnivores, but I'm not sure what the criteria is for something that actively eats, um, because an omnivore is something that actively eats both, and a carnivore is something that mostly eats meat. Now, carnivores can also sometimes eat other things, uh, unless they're obligate carnivores like cats that even can't, that can't even eat other things. They have to have meat all the time. But, uh, I'm pretty sure a badger would be considered an omnivore, since what I was reading seemed to indicate that, uh, they would, um, they don't, it's not that they just, that they, it's not necessarily that they, um, they eat mostly meat, it's, it sounded like they eat a, a variety of different things on a regular basis, and that's kind of what makes up the difference there. So, I'm pretty sure that they are, um, they're considered omnivores. It would make sense. What the? Oh my goodness, okay. That scared the heck out of me, you guys. That truly did. Okay, keep your distance from the fire, please. Do not get- Oh, 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 out, ah, guys. Guys, guys, run. What? Oh my goodness. Okay, there is like a fox running away. Some of you guys th seem to think this is a, a weasel rather than a fox. But, uh, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's running and we're gonna follow it. Okay, hurry, you guys. Hurry. Okay. It's moving on. Okay, we are going to do the same. I don't really care about catching it at this point. I just want to live. Um, oh, I think we're okay now. Let's keep moving. Keep moving. If we can. If we can catch it, I would not complain about that. But if we can't... I don't think I'm going to worry too much about it. There is food along the way, so it's not like it, we have to catch it to live. And I think we're safe. It looks like the fire has stopped spreading, I think. 
Let's run this way. Hide a little bit. Okay. If he's going in there, we might actually be able to catch him. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, oh, we got him. I See, I think he is supposed to be a fox. Some of you guys thought he looked more like a weasel, but he... Oh, okay, somebody stopped to eat. But he makes sounds like a fox, so... You guys, make sure you eat up. Alright, here we go. Um, I think we can go through either way here, but you know what? I'm gonna take the way that doesn't have the grass in it, just because the grass is a little bit scary for me now. Um, I think we're past the point where the fire spreads, but you know what? I'd rather not risk that. Um, let's just be pretty careful about what we choose to do here. Oh, I can't believe we lost another baby if we just waited. <laughs> you know, that level is the definition of between a rock and a hard place because on the one hand, you have the fire. On the other hand, you have the eagle. And if you don't get away from one or the other, you're going to end up in, tr in some big trouble. So that's basically the definition of the saying between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> oh, don't snatch it away from your sibling. That's not nice. All right, we're going to keep it moving. And hopefully now, we can at least get these three safely to adulthood. Ah, oh, Someday we'll get through it with all of them. Someday. Someday, someday, someday. But uh, for now, for this playthrough, it looks like it's left us with plenty of room to try again. So, let's keep going. And we're gonna head into this cave. And hopefully this cave means safety. It looks like we're at least leaving the fire level, so that is good. Alright. Here we go. This looks like a much nicer place. Not everything is on fire. There's actual flowers and everything. It looks like there's food. Ugh, this seems like a nicer place. Is there not actually... There's supposed to be food in here, right? There's supposed to be food. No? What are you guys seeing food? Oh, this tree. Okay. That's where the food is. Oh, and it's stuck on your head. There we go. All right. Well... <laughs> We made it through the fire, at least. Sadly, not with everyone, but lessons learned. So I guess, I guess the takeaway from that is we did have the time to hesitate a little longer than we thought we did. I thought the fire was going to be the biggest danger, but it was really the eagle. We have the chance to slow down a little bit and make sure we time it properly and wait just a little bit more before running, because if we'd waited a few seconds longer, I think we would have made it. Um, but unfortunately... We just barely missed it because we didn't quite wait long enough. And so, for the future, it's better to wait a little bit. If the fire comes close to you, then you have to run. And uh, there's really not much choice about that. But you have the chance to kind of see that ahead of time, I think. Alright, this guy does not see us. He's kind of just running along there, obliviously. Um... Sorry, dude, but you might be a snack for us. Okay, Ooh. Oh, oh, we scared him, darn it. You might end up being food for my babies. Survival of the fittest. We've got to, uh, gotta eat to live, and you are food. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, we scared him again, darn it. Oh, okay. We might have the chance to sneak up on him one more time. Did you guys find something else? You did find something else. You found more food here, so that works out. Wait a sec. One, two, okay, we've got three. I was a little worried for a minute there. All right, this guy is kind of heading off this way. Let's come over here and pull this out of the ground. And then we're going to try and catch up to him. Come on, you guys. Eat quickly. Oop, nope, eat quickly. Eat quickly. It's kind of hard to actually get them the food sometimes. There we go. No! I did it again. I keep doing that. All right, there we go. Have your food. We're going to just kind of sprint from bush to bush. Carefully. There we go. He makes sounds like a fox, so I think he's supposed to be a fox. Alright, so let's run here. If we get close, we should be able to get him. Get him, get him, get him. We got him. I'm sorry, fox, but uh, you are going to be food for my babies. They need to eat. Look how big they're getting, too. They're definitely growing from when we first started out. Alright, I'm sorry, Fox, but survival of the fittest, we need to eat, we need to live, and you are you are going to help us survive. <laughs> so, let's keep going. Is this... Where do we need to go? Um, 
Oh, I think in here it looks like there's a pathway here. So I think we follow this. It's a linear design, so usually you kind of just follow the direction you're heading. Oh, there's so much food. Now there's food everywhere. Now now food is no longer an issue. Um, we have too much food. We've got food coming out our ears at this point. Um, let's... Oh, this is not where we're supposed to go. Is there... Are we supposed to... No. This is just a weird little area that doesn't actually have relevance. Okay. It's kind of just... I guess the, the only point of that was the food. Alright. What is that sound? Is that just the grass crunching? The, I think it's the wind and the leaves, because it almost sounds like fire, and that scares me a little bit. So I think this is the right direction. Hopefully we're not just going back the way we came, but I think this is where we're supposed to go. Oh, there's food here we didn't pick up, so it's probably the right direction. All right. So we'll go ahead and grab this. One, two, three. Okay, you can have it. Or... Really? Nice. Here, you can have it. If you can actually eat it. Do you not even want to eat it? What are you trying to tell me? If you really don't want it that badly, no, eat your food. Okay, fine then. Don't eat your food. I'm gonna give it to one of your siblings. I don't even know that they need it anymore. Okay, come on, you guys. Just, just, there we go. Did you eat it? No. Come on. They're stuck. They're actually stuck. Great. I'm gonna put it back in the ground if you guys aren't gonna eat it properly. Come on! Really? Really? This is how you're gonna be? Okay, I'm just gonna walk with this. And we're just gonna keep moving. Here, take the food. There you go. There you go. That's better. They figured it out. We're good. Let's keep going. <laughs> And we'll head off down here. Look how huge they are, though. They're seriously massive. They've completely... What? What? Uh-oh. Um, run. 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 Um, into the shelter down here, please. Into the underground. Um. Oh, goodness. I thought we'd lost another baby for a minute there. Oh, my goodness. You were late to show up. I was really worried about you. Oh, man. My heart is racing again, you guys. Oh, gosh. Okay, you can eat. And I hope I'm not feeding the same one. I'm just feeding whoever happens to look a bit hungry. Not that any of them are really seriously hungry at this point in time anyway. Oh, man. Is there... There's more food in here if you guys want it. Um, there's actually a lot more food, so I'm gonna feed you, and I'm gonna feed you, if you'll eat it, okay, there you go, you got it. Oh boy, I can still hear the eagle music too. The eagle music is intense and scares me. Oh man, and that, now that it, it's in Shelter 2 as well, now that we have the DLC for that, which we have for a while, I get to experience this uh, anxiety there too, which is fun. Alright, we're gonna keep going this way, and oh man, where is this tunnel taking us? Alright, um, here. Here we go. Alright, somebody can have this scary music even though we're safely out of sight, I think. Are you stuck again? Here, eat your food. There you go. That's better. Let's keep going. We've gotta hurry because I can still hear Eagle. And it looks like we're coming out into the open again. Great. <laughs> I think this is actually the end, too. So I think... Okay, there's a lot of cover here, but it's not very good cover. Um, I don't hear the eagle yet. Oops. Oh, now I hear the eagle. Now I hear the eagle. Oh, there's the eagle. There's our old friend, I say friend. <laughs> yeah, no, not friend. Okay. Let's come over this way. Hurry, 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 hurry. Run, run, run. Oh, babies. Come on. There we go. We got the babies. They're safe. Let's go this way. 
It looks like there's a lot more food over here, too, but I don't think we really need to stop and get it. The eagle's right there. Gonna let him fly off at ways, and then we'll run. Run for it, run for it, run for it. Oh, why is it so far? Okay, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, this music is stressing me out. Alright, the eagle is right here, so we should not run. Okay. We're gonna run for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. He's turning around. There we go. Let's hide. Okay, I think we're good. We're safe. There's another tunnel over here if we can get into it. Oh, man. Alright, where is the eagle? Right here, right on top of us. Okay. It's just a short ways here, so if we hurry, we can get into it. There we go. Into the grass, into the grass, into the grass. The eagle's gonna come right through here. Into the tunnel, into the tunnel, into the tunnel. Alright, oh, he's on the outside, it looks like. Everybody here? We got three. We got three, that's good. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna wait. We're still in safety right now. Alright, run. Okay. Here we go, we're safe. Barely, but we're safe. Oh my goodness. Alright, I think we're gonna have to run... No, this is gonna be a better way to go. Alright, wait for him to not be right on top of us. Okay, he's off that way. Go for it, go for it, go, go, go. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Stay out of sight, please. Oh, that was close again. Alright, um, great. This has actually not helped us. This has given us an even further distance to go. Okay, but we're gonna go for it. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is such a long way to run. I don't like this. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. I think he missed. I think we're okay. Oh, gracious. Okay. Um. Where is the eagle? I don't see it. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. This is probably a bad idea. Probably a bad idea. Oh my goodness, there's actually nowhere to run, too. Um... Yeah, there's nowhere to run, we just gotta go for it. Oh, man. I don't hear the music, at least. Come on, guys. Oh, boy. The music stopped. Oh! Oh no! Okay. That's not good. This is different music. Oh my goodness, ow! Oh, I can't run anymore. I can't run anymore, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's the eagle. He's leaving. I think he's coming back. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Ouch! I, you can see I can't- I can't move my leg there. I think he got my leg. Where'd the others go? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. That is a very strong eagle. That is a very strong eagle. Wow. And there go the babies. So they escaped. They've gone on. And that is the goal of a wild creature, is to pass on its genes, to see its babies live safely to adulthood. And so, our mother badger has successfully raised three of her babies safely to adulthood. And, uh, despite having fallen herself and been taken by the eagle, these guys will go on and carry on her legacy, carry on her genes, and hopefully go on to raise babies of their own someday. And the cycle will continue. <laughs> And someday they'll have to keep protect their babies from that scary eagle as well. <gasps> oh, man. I always... You know, I don't think about... I remembered the ending, but I don't always think about the ending there. And we're gonna sit through the credits here because there is something at the end. Uh, if you guys have not seen this before, don't leave. Stay tuned. There's something at the end here. But I always forget... it. Well, I don't forget about the ending, but I don't have it in the forefront of my mind. And so it's always still pretty nerve-wracking as we come up to it. <laughs> Um, but look at this, you can see all the textures they use for different things, so the water, the different types of plants, the fire, the leaves, you can see all the textures they use for stuff, and it's honestly pretty cool. Um, they look really, really nice, 
and uh, it's heavily stylized, but I actually like that quite a lot. I really love the style of the Shelter games, and it's definitely improved since uh, this game. It got a lot better in Shelter 2 and now in Meadow. And uh, so even this game is absolutely gorgeous, but they've done a phenomenal job on these games. And I really do like the way they've represented the wildlife, um, especially as you'll, you'll see in a bit here. They really took a very... a good perspective. Uh, too often we can be tempted to humanize animals and uh, we forget that uh, they are still animals and uh, ultimately when it comes down to it their goal is to survive to have their babies survive and ultimately to pass on their genes and they don't have quite the complexity of life that we do they don't quite have the complexity of emotion or motivation that we do uh, they operate off of instinct and uh, they live in the moment more than we do because humans have the ability to think ahead and to see, like, to, to think ahead and plan for the future and to kind of see the paths ahead of us and try to plan for which one we may want to take. Whereas animals, they're living in the moment, they're reacting in the moment. So, oh my gosh, there's an eagle we've got to hide. They're not thinking, okay, if I go out into this open field, um, then the eagle's going to show up. They're not thinking ahead like we are. And maybe instinct will tell them a little bit because a lot of the time animals will avoid open areas. But that's not because they're consciously thinking, oh, there could be a predator out there, that's not a wise choice. Uh, it's just their instinct guiding them and kind of leading them to uh, leading them to avoid situations that could be dangerous. And I feel like the shelter games really represent that quite well. They don't um, they don't humanize the animals too much as we can be tempted to do. And uh, so I think they've done a remarkable job with this. And of course, at the end here, I love how it always uh, has the special thanks for all mothers, because uh, honestly, that's, it's such an important, you know, moms have such an important role. And I really like that uh, they are acknowledging that. And here we go. Here's the end. So if you guys haven't seen this before, there's our eagle. There's our mama badger who has been through so much, but... You can see, too, this eagle the whole time has been trying to feed babies of her own. And so the cycle goes on. And unfortunately, that's the way it is in this world, is a lot of the time something has to die so something else can live. But uh, I really like how they show that perspective quite well. And they show it sensitively as well as um, portraying it well. And here we are back at the beginning. So this concludes our shelter playthrough. Don't worry, I'm determined to keep playing this game until <laughs> until I can beat it with all five babies someday. But uh, for now, this playthrough has drawn to a close. We'll be back to Wolf Quest: The Untold or The Lost Tales next week, and uh, you guys will have the chance to vote over the weekend. I'm going to get that video up as soon as possible here, so that you guys have the chance to vote on the next error to the next side or not the next error, but the next. Uh, the next wolf we're going to follow in the next side story. Hi, I can't talk today. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.